Well, Senator Al Franken is addressing sexual harassment allegations in a new statement. The Democrat says he feels terribly that he could make women feel so badly. He's now planning to address the media for the first time on Sunday. Uh, ABC Stephanie Ramos joins us from Washington, D.C. with the very latest on all of these scandals. Stephanie. Kenneth and Diane, sexual harassment claims have been running wild on Capitol Hill. You guys know this. We've been talking about it all week. But some women who have come forward say this bad behavior by members is nothing new. Accusations of sexual misconduct are shaking up Capitol Hill. Senator Al Franken responding to new allegations after two more women say he sexually violated them by grabbing their backsides at political events a decade ago. Franken still catching heat for this photo of him apparently groping a woman. In a Thanksgiving Day statement, Franken apologized for his actions and said, in some of those encounters, I crossed a line for some women, and I know that any number is too many. Multiple women have come forward claiming Franken sexually harassed them. Al Franken pulled me in towards him and then put his hand on my rear. The number of allegations against Franken now stands at four. Franken's statement on the heels of another scandal involving longtime Congressman John Conyers. A third woman is now accusing Conyers of misconduct including Melanie Sloan, a high-profile Washington lawyer who says she was harassed and verbally abused when she worked for Conyers in the 90s. Sloan tells ABC News during her time working for the Judiciary Committee, the Michigan lawmaker was increasingly abusive to her and often berated her loudly in public. People shrug off members' misconduct on Capitol Hill. The kind of abuse I suffered at Congressman Conyers' hands was awful, but I, I won't say that it's unique. Conyers isn't stepping down. His lawyer says in a statement that is not going to happen and that if people were required to resign over allegations, a lot of people would be out of work in this country, including the president. And Conyers isn't the only lawmaker caught up in scandal. Texas Congressman Joe Barton is now apologizing for some explicit photos of him that were released, he says, by an ex-girlfriend who's retaliating against him. Kenneth, Diane. Joe Barton says he may be a victim of revenge porn in all of this. Stephanie Ramos, thank you for keeping us updated on the many scandals filling the week.